Hi, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have implemented Kafka consumer to consume the data from the Kafka topic. Next, we need to store that data into the database, right? For that, in this lecture, we will configure MySQL database in a Spring Boot project so that our Spring Boot application can able to connect to the MySQL database, right? So let's head over to the IntelliJ IDEA and let's go to Kafka consumer database project and go to resources folder within our resources folder we have application dot properties file so within this application dot properties file we are going to configure mysql details well before that first we need to create a database so let's go to mysql workbench and here just type the sql statement create database followed by database name let's say wikimedia so wikimedia is going to be our database name Let's fire this SQL statement and refresh the schemas and there we go. Wikimedia database is created. So once we create a database, next we need to add the required dependencies in our Spring Boot project. So basically we need to add Spring Data JP dependency as well as MySQL JDBC driver. So in order to get these dependencies, what we can do is we can go to the start.spring.io website that is Spring Initializer website and go to the add dependency section over here and just type spring jpa so you will get this option like spring data jpa so go ahead and choose this spring data jpa next we use mysql jdbc driver right so just type mysql you will get mysql driver over here just choose it now we have these two dependencies okay so whenever you want to connect your spring boot application to the mysql database then you have to add these two dependencies all right so Spring Data JPA by default it uses Hibernate as a JPA provider and we use Spring Data JPA to simplify the repository layer or a DAO layer okay and we use MySQL driver to connect our Spring Boot application to the database the database is MySQL database so go to the explore here option and go to palm.xml and just go ahead and grab these two dependencies okay just copy these two dependencies and go to IntelliJ IDEA and go to palm.xml of kapka.kapka-consumer-database project okay so make sure that you are in a right project so go here in a palm.xml and create the dependency section and just paste these two dependencies perfect and click on this load maven changes icon over here now we have added required dependencies okay now let's go to application dot properties file and let's configure mysql database okay so let me go to resources folder within our resources folder we have application dot properties file and within this application dot properties file we are going to configure mysql details so just type the property spring dot data source dot url equal to jdbc so we are going to configure jdbc url to connect to the mysql database right so jdbc colon mysql and then localhost well we are connecting our spring boot application with the local mysql database hence localhost followed by the port of the mysql server that is 3306 followed by database name that is wiki media and then let's configure database username and password just type the property spring dot data source dot username equal to root well in my case i have given a database username as root but make sure that whatever the database username that you have you have given you have to mention over here so similarly let's configure database password spring dot data source dot password equal to mysql at the rate one two three well whatever the database password you have given to your database make sure that you have to give here after that we need to configure a couple of hibernate properties well let's first configure hibernate dialect so just type the property spring dot jp dot properties dot hibernate dot dialect equal to org dot hibernate dot dialect dot mysql 8 dialect so make sure that you choose latest dialect so mysql 8 is the latest dialect as of now so this 
dilate is required to the hibernate because hibernate will refer this dilate uh, to create the SQL statement to the respective database vendor. In this case, MySQL is the target database vendor, right? So based on this dilate, hibernate will basically create the SQL statements. Next, let's configure one more hibernate property to automatically create the database table. Let's say spring jpa hibernate dot ddl hyphen auto equal to update so this will create you know a database table automatically well we want to also see the hibernate generated sql statement in a console right for that let's configure a few more hibernate properties over here that is spring dot jpa dot properties dot hibernate dot show underscore sql equal to true so this will basically show the sql statement that is generated by hibernate in a console and this spring dot jpa dot properties dot hibernate dot use underscore sql underscore comments equal to true so this property will basically print the comment next spring dot jpa dot properties dot hibernate dot format underscore sql equal to true so this property will basically tells hibernate that whatever the sql statement that will print in a console should be well formatted all right so these are the few you know uh, properties that we have to configure in order to connect our spring boot application with the mysql database now let's run the spring boot application and let's verify whether our spring boot application will be able to connect to the mysql database or not so go to main entry point class so make sure that you are, you are in a right project so open this kafka consumer database project and go to main entry point class of this project that is spring boot consumer application and run this class and you can see there is no errors in a console it means we have successfully configured mysql database in our spring boot project okay great in next lecture we will write a code to save the data into the mysql database all right i will see you in the next lecture